Okay, Midnight Sun, this one is for you. Thank you, first of all, so much for your wonderful video, which called me a bitch and compared me to Hitler, Dr. Evil, some vague cartoon reference that I don't understand, and Stalin. Thanks for that. Um, I am not that bad of a person, I just have to say. And although you took three, three days of constantly fucking messaging me on Facebook and being like, I'm making the video, it's almost done, I'm just editing it, just wait for me. And I had to wait three days for that video. It was impressive, it was worth the wait, but yeah, my girlfriend's looking at me strangely right now, but I don't care. It's one take on this video, one time, that's it, that's all you get. One. That's all I need. One take. No, that's two. One. One take. Okay, so I get three minutes to respond, and I'm gonna count the three minutes from uh, now. Okay. So, first of all, um, using when you mention peace, you bring out, you show the Dalai Lama and the Pope. Okay, so like the Catholic Church, I'm sorry, but just world peace and the Catholic Church, the Crusades, the Inquisition, uh, basically organized pedophilia, no, 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 uh, no, Catholic Church, no, not world peace, Dalai Lama, fucking asshole, Google it, he is a motherfucker, just like some kind of rock star, pop culture, guy who just, you know, promoted his self-image as, like, his holiness or whatever. And when the monks were in control of Tibet before the Chinese invaded or whatever, um, the most of the people in Tibet had a fucking terrible life. That's just how it was, and the monks ruled everything, and you just had to, to live with them. So, yeah, world peace, Dalai Lama, Pope, Although this Pope is like more progressive, so I do have to give him that, but basically, yeah, no, I still don't agree with using those people. Um, second of all, yes, you made some very cute and nice references to world peace, but our point of contention was whether or not there could ever be world peace. Now, I just don't believe that there can ever be world peace. And the reason for that is that, well, first, I'd just like to point out that you're a little bit sheltered. You're living over there in middle America, some kind of flyover state called, like, Kansas City, where, which is famous for, like, I don't even know, Alice in Wonderland? Okay, anyway, so, yeah, you're from there, and... Look, I live over in the third world, baby, and I'm telling you that people over here, they're not like Western people. And there's like five or six times or seven times as many of them as us. So if you want world peace to work, you're gonna have to, you know, modify the culture over here. And that's, you know, who wants world peace to work in the West? Like hippies and super left-wing people and progressive lady boys, I don't fucking know. I mean, anyhow, um, I've almost used my three minutes to uh, respond to your statement and your assertion about world peace. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to discussing this in more detail. Okay, bye.